everybody, it's Carla from Casey Creates, and I thought maybe you'd like to craft with me. I have had this lampshade for several weeks now. I walked in the Dollar Tree, and there was uh, there were all these little lamps for one dollar. This is just the lampshade. I'll show you the the bottom of the lamp in the second part of this but what I've done because I kind of want to just shabby up this this lampshade it's just a cylinder I hope you can see it okay I'm gonna guess it's about six inches seven inches tall and um, I pulled out as much fun pink trim as I could find so I've got and some of these I just recently dyed like this pink one and some of the more flat laces so like this one I just ran a running stitch and ruffled it and you guys I just totally poked the needle in my elbow <laughs> boy I don't know how random things like that happen but I'm okay <laughs> so um I, I put a running stitch in this and I'm just going to snip off the end here. I knotted it so it should stay. And so I'm just going to go through. I showed you this piece that I found in a haul on a little girl's dress. And I think this also came off of a little girl's skirt of some sort. It had tons of that. I've got a bunch of these little rosettes. Even this fun little pom-pom trim that has little gingham pom-poms or balls on it. I might finish it off at the top with that. We'll see. But I, I'm going to start with this really fun piece that was gifted to me from the lovely Angie Paisy. She made all this um, ribbon with little strips of garland. It's almost like a snippet roll. Um, but she stitched it all on one strip of fabric and it is just so much fun to look at. There's all different little snips of fabric. She even has some little silk flower petals. Um, this isn't the whole thing she gifted me. I shared some with a few people, um, a few snips of it. And this is what I have left and I want to keep it forever so I decided I will make it part of my lamp and it's going to actually be the bottom of my lamp. I just have to remember what's the top and what's the bottom. This is the top. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because I want to be able to move it around. But I think this is um, some type of maybe nylon that's covering the entire lampshade. But I thought, how fun to get a lamp for one dollar and then be able to alter it however I want. I haven't been back to that Dollar Tree to see if they have any more. I wish you lived closer to me. I'd grab a couple for you. They would be kind of bulky to mail though. <laughs> but if you have a Dollar Tree, go check and see. See, it's already pretty. I could just use this and that would be all I need. But I want to make it real chunky with different ruffles and laces and trims. I hope that's not blurry because it's so close to the camera. I'll try to hold it back a little bit. I want to make sure I'm gluing it on the fabric and not on the beautiful snippets. But Fabri-Tac glues nicely. The only thing that I need to watch out for now is that I don't that it doesn't take my black nail polish off and put it on this beautiful piece of fabric because I would be sad but we know what happens with nail polish and fabric tack the two are not friends but Angie thank you so much for this beautiful piece if you're watching I just I just appreciate all the hard work it takes to make this and you guys if you don't know who Angie is please go to her channel 
Her name is Angie Paisy, and she shows you how to do wonderful um, creations. She's a really nice, calm teacher. You can tell she's gifted because she can just chat and work at the same time. I'm a teacher, but I don't know if I have that skill. Okay, so like I just got a bunch of it on my nail. It's going to start melting off like I put nail polish remover on. Okay, so I've made it around with this one. I'm just going to add a little... Oh, look, I'm going to have a little snippet left. Yay. This is the kind of stuff you like to hoard. Because it's so unique. So I have a little piece left. Yay, I'm going to save that. And I'm just going to hold this here a second. Isn't this pretty? It's just so much to look at. So I have the bottom trim here. And I think the next one, maybe I'll do... Which one should I do next? Let me see if I can tip this up a little bit higher. So it won't be too blurry, I hope. Um... I think I'll do the solid pink one and then another patterned one. And I'm not going to be too particular about getting it perfect because it's supposed to be shabby. I think I will add the glue to the actual fabric because then I know it'll stick where I want it to. So I did have a lot of fun dyeing things pink. It's funny the comments I get in my household because I'm in a house of boys that don't really care for the color pink. So every time I come out with all this pink they're like, oh she's at her shabby stuff again. <laughs> they really don't pay very much attention to it though. They're on to their own thing. So I'm going to stick this one on. This was that uh, petticoat that I purchased and it just had, uh oh, see, I just did what I was afraid of. You see that? I just got black nail polish on there. I'm going to snip that off because that will be unattractive in the end. But anyway. I distracted myself. I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, that was this was all this white um, chiffon-y, nylon-y um, petticoat. And I still have tons of it left. And I've tea dyed some of it. And now I've pink dyed some of it. But it's just such a nice trim for anything you want to make shabby chic or fairy which I love both. Okay, so I have this one on. And again, it's not perfectly um, straight, but that's okay. I'm going to snip it off right here. So I guess it's not extremely exciting to watch me just go round and round, but I think it'll be a pretty quick process. with that one. I wonder if I should do two rows of that one. Hmm. I actually think... Let me see. Let's see if it's ready for another pattern. No, I think I like the idea of doing two rows of this one first, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead... I don't know. It might be easier to just add the glue to the lampshade. I think that's what I'll do. You guys, you're just kind of hanging out with me if you don't mind. I hope it's worth it for the end result. <laughs> so, let's stick another one on here. Sort of reminds me of the ruffle on the collar of a clown. Just real fluffy and fun. There were a couple things I like to dress up for for trick-or-treat. My sister and I loved being a witch. 
We were nice witches, though, and we loved being clowns with the big puffy wig and red nose and big ruffle collar. And we loved making our own costumes. And we would literally start planning it in like July. That's how much we loved it. It's taken on different tones now all over the country. So depending on where you are, it's not always fun. But we have found some wonderful neighborhoods where they don't try to scare the bejesus out of you just to have some fun. And those are the places we like to go trick-or-treating. But honestly, those years are kind of past us now. But I love seeing the little princesses and oh, the cute, cute costumes come to the door and ring the doorbell. It is adorable. Okay, so I've got that one on. And I like that I added two rows of that. It just makes it more fluffy and fun. And there's that black nail polish. I should have known better. I should have taken it off first. So now I'm going to add this one. And then I've got some eyelet lace trim I'm going to try. So let's put on... Lately, I haven't had a whole lot of money to spend on crafting. But I do make sure... <laughs> that I always have it in my budget to get Fabri-Tac and I make sure I use my coupon so then it's not a very big splurge because this is just really awesome glue I love it except for the fact that it does take off your nail polish but I only have nail polish on right now because we're on a break from the clay studio this week so that's when I tend to get my nails done so I can at least keep nails for a week didn't last really a week this time but I've always liked painted fingernails it's just my career doesn't really lend itself to nice nails I can always get my toenails done though that's always fun that's usually our birthday treat to me and my sister in the summer I think I have enough to go around with this one more time too, so I'm going to. I'm just going to really get my fix of frilly and pink right now. And I think it will really make my shabby crafting table come to life. I have a lamp that's got a ruffled flowered uh, lampshade, but the lamp itself doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to be retiring that lamp and the lampshade and I'll save the lampshade for another upcycling project in the future. But for now I thought I would finally get this one done and boy I'm talking about Fabri-Tac and I'm probably going to need an <laughs> another bottle after this. I have one more though, don't I? Yeah, I, I have another one in my stash. When you buy them with the 40% off coupon, it makes it really worth it. But AC Moore had a 55% off coupon. So I beelined right over to the glue. And that's what I used my coupon for because it's rarely ever on sale. And of course you can't use the coupon if it's marked down or clearanced. So I never have to worry. Maybe that's why they make the price so high, because they know you're going to use your coupon anyway. But anyway. So now I have two layers of this pretty floral one. And then Angie's right here. And then the pink chiffon one that I'm going to have to snip that little black mark off of. So there we go. And now I have this which will probably have to stand alone because I only have one piece of it and it's eyelet lace but I love it so I'm going to stick this one on you know I think I will use my hot glue gun here and see how it goes um, just try it I just don't like burning my fingers 
so I don't know what's worse, burning my fingers or getting black nail polish everywhere. I don't think either one is favorable. Let's see here. It's so quiet today and I keep forgetting that it's Friday because yesterday was a holiday. Everyone was home. Now everyone's back at it. Actually, everyone may be heading home soon. It's about that time. But how fun is this? I'm going to put it a little higher because I don't want to cover any of the trims up. Can you see that? So I'm going for a layer of the eyelet lace trim now. The top of the trim had this kind of satiny strip, but it's coming off in some sections. I may put some pink rickrack over it. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to um, keep gluing with the glue gun on this one. I just feel like it's okay. You, you can't really mess it up. And if you do, it was a dollar. So you won't feel as bad if it doesn't turn out exactly the way you envisioned it. And then you can always make one side the front and one side the back because it is sitting up against the wall. So the side that isn't that great, I can put in the back. I think hot glue always goes faster as long as you don't burn yourself. Oh, this is so much fun. I love it. There's the eyelet lace layer. Hmm. I might have to see if I can go grab another one of these lamps. Because I certainly have enough trim. I could even go with a different color scheme or do all ivory and cream and vintagey colors. So there's that trim. So you guys, I have this um, rickrack pink rickrack and then I have you know me gingham it's real faint you can't really see it but that's a gingham one and I was thinking of doing this all the way around but I don't know for now I'll just keep going with the trim I think I really think I want to use something flat first I'm gonna end up covering up the pink aren't I I am. That's okay because this really wasn't that exciting with the pink there because it's falling off. So I have to decide which one I want to do next. I was thinking of making this one last. It's sort of too long. Oh, I don't know if this one's going to work. Hmm. Hmm. I'm talking about this one if it's not in camera. I really was going to make this one a highlight piece because of the embroidered flowers, but I'm not sure this is going to work. Let's see. Which one should I do next? I think I need a slightly shorter one. So I think I'll go with this lace one. I just hate that I'm going to cover that up. I wonder if it would look okay this way. <laughs> no, I think that's kind of crazy. I don't know though. Maybe I could put the rickrack in between those two. Ah, I think that might be pretty. Hold on. Hang in there with me, guys. I'm about to experiment here and see. No. No. That is not going to work. I think my pretty embroidered one might have to wait for the next project. But I have plenty to keep going. I have this one as well. This one is fun. Um, I just wish I had another printed one. I just I don't know what's going to happen if I cut this. 
Do I have more than I need? Let's try cutting it and see what happens. I think I can. I'm going to just go for it. I'm cutting it shorter. I think it'll fit better and not hang down too long. And like I said, it's just for fun. It's an experiment, so I'm cutting this shorter. Some of the embroidered part will still show up. And it is a craft with me, meaning I'm not trying to teach you how to do it. I'm really just kind of winging it. So if you're not bored, out of your gourd watching, then I appreciate your company. It's really hard to um, remember that it's summer because I've kind of been inside all day. That's not good. I've got to get out. It's easy to happen though when you're making videos because this is the time of day when it's quiet and I, I've uploaded a couple videos today. One was a challenge entry and I think I did another one. Oh, my prizes you guys. I did a prize video to show you the journals that I'd like to give away. So if you haven't seen that one and you want to check it out, oh yeah, this will be cute. That's going to be the top one. And I think I'll go ahead and use this one for the next row. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use hot glue again because it went nice and fast that way. And I just, again, I just did the little running stitch and ruffled it. And I'm going to stick it down. All the way around. And this might be the one where I add the rickrack. It is nice when it sticks so quickly. And now you're going to see, I, I, my brain doesn't stop sometimes. So knowing me, when my husband gets home, I'll probably run out to Dollar Tree to see if they have another lamp. No, I'll wait till tomorrow. There's no rush. But it is always fun to be on the hunt for something. And this would be a fun little thing to make as a gift for a little girl's room or somebody else's crafting space. Um, but I have the the um, the base to the lamp that I'm planning on um, decoupaging with rose patterned napkins. So I thought I would make that part of this video just to connect the two videos together if it's not too terribly long. I always feel bad making videos that are super long because I, I always think people are going to be like, well, why does she think we want to watch that long? Well, I just want you to know, I don't feel that way with you guys. Some of my favorite crafters, I'm like, oh, make a longer video. I love watching your videos because I don't really watch television. Your YouTube videos, believe it or not, are my television. I just can't really find anything on TV that I'm excited about. Not even on Netflix. All I do on Netflix is flip from preview of, to preview of shows and then I never really end up staying captivated by them. I think I'm a little bummed that I covered up so much of this eyelet lace. But I think as it's standing up, it'll show up. I'm a little too close up right now. But if you were to back up, it would show up better. Now I have these really fun rosettes here. So I'm going to cut this in a strip and lay this on. And then the last piece I think is going to be this. So I think I'm almost finished putting the fabric, <clears throat> excuse me, on the lampshade, but I don't think that's long enough. I'm going to need a little bit more. Does anyone remember this piece? 
I found these adorable little bloomers that were part of a little girl's dress and the bloomers were underneath and I washed them of course really well and then these are some of the pieces from the bloomers and they're super cute you'll no, no one will ever know they were bloomers so bear with me I'm gonna stick this on now I've just got it close to me so I don't burn myself but this is one of those wackadoo kind of things that I love I love pattern mixing and fabric mixing and just kind of making everything work that otherwise may not work together and I am working on top of this little sheer curtain but I have so many of these curtains I'm not going to worry about it if it gets a little glue on it stick another piece down there we go uh oh camera overboard hang in there guys and try to get this back the way it was I don't know if I can I'll try oh. come on be cooperative please okay you guys close your eyes because if this makes you motion sick I'll feel bad just one second I'm gonna try to fix this you're not gonna be agreeable there we go no boy just because I need this to be agreeable it's not I should say hi since I'm hi <laughs> let's see if this will stay anyway I have just put a little bit more here I'll make that stick there we go okay so I have oh how fun is that it's a lamp it's gonna make people want to just come up and rub it <laughs> like a genie okay and then let's see I'm just experimenting here with one more possible fluffy layer okay I was thinking this but maybe not let's see um, I don't remember where I put it now. Oh, there it is. This was going to be the last one. It's really sheer. I don't know. I feel like it needs one more before that. Look at this. This is kind of fun, fringy stuff. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I think it's getting a little circusy now. And nobody's here to really tell me yay or nay. I can't hear you guys. I can't hear you. I'm going to turn it this way and see what I think. Ah, oh, I don't know. I like it this way. No, it's meant to go this way. All right. Make a decision, Carla. Make a decision. Maybe one more row of this. Or, I guess because the last thing I wanted to do was have these little bobbles go around. Can you see these? And I'm not sure it really lends itself. Maybe just something short like this. And then the bobbles, even though they're not the contrast isn't that great you know what I just have to go for it sometimes you have to just do what's in your head oh I think I know if I put the gingham let me just try this and then the bobbles um, I think that's what I'm gonna do yeah okay so I'm going to put now I am going to do this okay just bear with me I have a plan I think 
I'm just being silly and having fun and that's what counts having fun while you craft so I'm gonna go ahead like I already planned and put this on because this is where I intended it to be I think I'm about to run out of glue stick so I went back to the Fabri-Tac because it never fails when I'm trying to do something on camera I don't bring enough glue sticks with me oh I'm loving that now sometimes you just have to go with your first instinct so I'm sorry if that's not what you were yelling at the camera if you were yelling at the camera <laughs> I'm gonna snip this off and I'm still going to add the gingham. I'm going to add it up top here. Or maybe I'll add the bobbles now. Oh yeah, I'm going to add the bobbles. Yay! Do I have one more glue stick? I hope, I hope I do. Yay! Okay, we can finish her off here. With the little bobbles. Like this. And then the last thing I will add is that little row of gingham rickrack. And then I'll show it to you. I'll slide my next glue stick in. <laughs> it's a good thing this is staying here with me. Oh, first burn of the night. Ouch. There we go. I'm having this sec this second set my husband's about to call. So I think the ringer's off, but I can see my phone if he calls. Um so there we go. I'm working my way around here. And almost finished. I found this gingham bobble trim when I was living in Arizona. And I really am happy to be living closer to family. But the thing I miss the most besides my dear friend there is the trim store. I used to make that like a weekly outing. They had the most unique trims you could ever hope for, and really inexpensive. I think it was called SAS, S-A-S, if you're ever out that way. You will love those trims. I've got a couple of hauls on my channel from there. Okay, so there's the gingham, little bobbles. And the last thing I'm going to put on, and I'm going to use Fabri-Tac this time. I like how that just added some volume to the top. So that's making me kind of happy. And with this glue, you can go ahead and put it all the way around and not worry about it being too dry by the time you have your trim on. So there's that, and I'm going to put this on now. Oh, my poor fingernails. And this is the gingham trim I'm going to finish it off with. Well, I don't know about you, but that was fun. <laughs> and maybe it's not exactly the way I envisioned, but I don't know if I really had it envisioned anyway. As to how it's gonna look and if it's kind of blurry I'm really sorry but when I come back to show you the decoupaged base piece I'll try to make sure it's in better focus but I think because of its height it's closer to the camera than when I originally um, focused it 
because I didn't want it to be on autofocus because I was afraid it would just keep zooming in and out and in and out. So I have a little cleanup to do here from my quick gluing. Kind of got messy on me. So if you can see, this is it. I have some flat pink lace here. And I think I'm going to go around the inside with it um, and just make it flat. Maybe. No, I don't want it close to the light bulb. That might not be safe. It's not necessary. Where it's going to sit, no one will really see the inside. So, just pushing it down a little more even. Hopefully it's a little more even. There's my shabby shade with layers of ruffle and lace and my anchor piece the snippet ribbon that was gifted to me from Angie yay okay guys thanks for watching with me I'll be back and I'll show you a little bit more it'll probably be linked right on to this video so I'll be back but this is it finished and um, what I did to the lampshade was I just put a little ruffle on the bottom and I put some lace. I don't know if you can see, I put a little gingham, that same gingham trim that was on the top. I put it on the bottom. So it's got a fun little girly ruffle there. And the gingham trim. And there's the I'm going to call it the Paisy Ribbon. No, I don't know. I just love that piece. And it's so frilly. It's got layers and layers of lace. And there's the little pom-poms on the top. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Except there's a little random bits that I have to probably take some time to clean off. I'm going to turn the light on and see how it works. Let's see. Will it work? I don't think I've even tried it. <laughs> oh, it works, but it, uh, sorry to blind you guys. <laughs> there it is. In all of its ruffliness. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging with me while I created this uh, wackadoo kind of lamp with all of its brightness. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I did what I said. I just randomly started sticking stuff on. And there's my little Dollar Tree find. So, thanks for watching, everybody. And maybe you can give it a try if you have a bunch of random trims laying around. Try covering a lampshade. Have a happy day.